So we're here standing on the embankment at Dunlap Dam near the emergency spillway. Uh, there's been a tremendous amount of progress made by Zachary on the project since we started in May. Uh, the emergency spillway is nearing completion right now. They're pouring the last few lifts of concrete to get that work done. Um, out in the main river channel also, they've been underway. They've deployed all of the temporary bridge needed for access and they're currently removing the first gate prior to pouring a lot of concrete to accept the new spill gate in that first bay. Uh, they've gotten about 80% of that gate removed and expect in the next couple of days to have that fully completed. From that point moving forward, uh, they will start going out and dewatering the area that's kind of below the existing concrete. And um, we've already sent a team of, of aquatic biologists down to go recover in any species that might have been lingering in that gate area. And now that that work's completed, they can start excavating down another probably 15 feet into the mud for where they're going to start uh, pouring concrete on the upstream side of the dam. So this is one of the removed pieces from gate number one. We're actually, this is the upstream gate leaf. And so when this was in service, this was actually the top of the gate right here. Uh, what's unique about these gates and one of the reasons they're not recommended for replacement is due to some safety concerns. You have to actually engage this bar and send a guy out to stand on top of this gate while it's full of water to lock it out for maintenance. And so you have to go and engage 13 of these bars across the top of the gate before you can then send a guy into this maintenance hatch to do an inspection on the inside of the gate. So these guys are literally required to stand on the gate, lock it out and go inside of it before you can even determine what might be uh, problematic underneath. So we're looking at the existing gates and you can really see the need for the project. The upstream hinges are what was believed to have failed and caused the initial spillgate failure at Dunlap. And looking at the condition of these, you can really see what 90 years of wear looks like on these hinges. So after the initial spillgate failure at Dunlap, GBRA invested in a temporary pump station that allows our water supply operations out here to continue. Uh, when the sheet piling work gets done in gate one, they're gonna cut that down at an elevation that ensures that water supply deliveries will continue throughout the life of the project. Within each of the gates, you know, on the upstream side, we're pouring a big block of concrete for stability of the dam, and that goes really far down below the water surface. Um, in addition to that, for the new gates, they're having to flatten out the spillway area to be in the correct shape for the new gates. And there are several lifts of concrete required for that. And because of the addition of some large hydraulic cylinders to operate the gate, they will be beefing up the abutment and the center piers as well. So all that's currently underway.